Hello ladies and gentlemen, I was having a look around the Snap Store and came across this application here called Cheat. I thought this would be a good opportunity to try it in this video. So it's an interactive cheat sheet for command line to help remind Nix system administrators for options on commands that they use frequently but not frequently enough to remember. And we do have a handy XKCD comic here to remind us the perils of forgetting how to use a Nix command. But if you don't fancy using snaps, you can install it via pip or a few other methods as detailed on the git page. But anyway, enough of that. Let's take a look at the command. So it's cheat and we have a few options. So the simple and most common usage is to type a command directly after cheat. So let's try git. Perhaps a bit much to read for the first time around. Let's go for something a little bit more simple, like mv. Move a folder from one place to another, and some of the various alternatives that you might want. So why use cheat instead of the man page or the help page? Well, to be honest, it's a little bit more simpler and shows the common usage. And yes, man or the help pages will show you all the usages of the command, but if you just want something simple, yeah, I can certainly see the usage of having cheat. So cheating at the Linux command prompt. Oh, okay. Sometimes it's dash H and sometimes it's dash dash help. There you go. Slightly less information, but you know, not quite as concise and clear as cheat is. And there are pages for some heavy command line usage applications like MySQL. So yeah, just starting the basics and then building up perfect way for the cheat page to be written. FFmpeg, well now this is quite a complex command for all that you can do with it. And to be honest, I don't think this page really does it justice. So converting audio files, convert a video file, image sequence, combine video and audio, listen to 10 seconds of an audio. Yeah. I don't know if I was going to go down the route of converting a video, I would probably use dash copy as well, just to, uh, retain the integrity, but I suppose they've given you the bit rates instead. So we also have commands for package installers and just to show equality here, I thought I would go for a Fedora or Red Hat command. So if you don't know the exact name of the command you're looking for, you could type in a search word. So that's cheat dash S and I'll go for copy. So how many commands discuss copy? Yeah, quite a few. The main one is CP, so that is copying a file. Rsync is also an alternative. Let's try searching for firewall. Hmm, nothing there. Well, I know they do have a command for IP tables. Yeah, IP tables is a firewall. I suppose it doesn't actually mention the word firewall in here. Hence why it is not showing up. We could go and change that by editing the cheat sheet. So with cheat e, and then the name of the cheat sheet. So yeah. Puts me across to nano and I could edit the cheat sheet. Yeah, thinking about the complexity of man pages versus cheats, then yeah, having IP tables is a fine description of that. The man page has so much in. You really can see the difference between man and cheat. But if you want a full list of the cheat sheets, here you go. You can use cheats L. I'll tell you what, there are so many there, so I'll pipe the command through to less. And now we can scroll down. Yeah, so there's quite a few different pages. Yeah, perhaps not complete, but enough that it may be able to provide an answer for a command which you're trying to use. So that was a look at Cheat as a snap-based application. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.